Hello everyone. Today is Tuesday, January 4th, 2022. Sugar imports deplete Kenya's duty-free quota. This article is taken from the East African. Kenya has almost exhausted its sugar import quota from the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa, COMESA, after ramping up imports to cover for local production short call, uh, shortfall. Excuse me. The Sugar Directorate says Kenya had by October imported 201 uh, 1,530 tons of sugar against the required 210, 163 tons, equivalent to 96% of the uh, allocated quota. The Treasury in March slashed by a third the amount of sugar that can be imported duty-free to Kenya from Comesa countries as the government moved to tame influx of the sweetener following an outcry from farmers. The Treasury said imports that exceeded the set limit would attract 100% duty, effectively protecting farmers and local sugar processors from rogue importers. Kenya has been grappling with the shortage of sugar supply occasioned by disruption in production after breakdowns by some of the millers in western Kenya. And part of that was that uh, Indian man that got that... Uh, uh, controversial, more than controversial deal uh, in Kenya to um, uh, to save the uh, um, uh, Kenyan uh, sugar mill, uh, and then it, uh, the court stepped in and, and uh, said that they, uh, they nullified the deal. Um, so Kenya obviously is having trouble producing sugar. This pushed up the wholesale price of sugar by 23% in November, one of the largest increments in recent months, with a 50 kilogram bag selling at $54.3, up from $44.27 previously. As a result, the consumer price of sugar shot up from $2.01 to $2.36 for a two kilogram packet. Kenya had previously been allowed to ship in 300,000 tons of sugar annually from Comesa, member states to prevent dumping of the commodity into the country. Kenya likely exhausted the new reduced quota by November, given that the latest import data from the Sugar Directorate does not include the two last months of the year. From January to October, traders have been importing at least 35,000 tons of sugar on average to meet local demand. Kenya produces 650,000 tons of sugar annually against a demand of 900,000 tons. Two weeks ago, sugar cane farmers through the Kenya Sugar Cane Growers Association called for a new audit of the country's sugar deficit, saying outdated data on the shortfall risks facilitating higher import volumes at the expense of local producers. Okay, uh, this is an age-old problem. Uh, the farmers protecting their uh, interests uh, because uh, the African uh, continental free trade area has not uh, taken hold, even though it's uh, been around for a year. And as I said earlier, in another video. Uh, there's another video coming up uh, today that's going to talk about uh, uh, Nigeria's part in that and, uh, and why it's uh, the progress is being delayed uh, uh, largely uh, uh, by Nigeria's actions. But <clears throat> what this <clears throat> tells us is that um, I, I from from my research, I can't remember the countries and so forth. But for if if I remember correctly, there are countries in maybe West Africa, different uh, areas um, that that import sugar. So um, this is the problem. Here is is a transportation problem uh, and a connectivity problem, obviously, because if the Kenyan farmers and the 
whoever's selling the excess sugar to uh, drive down the, the to Kenya drive to drive down the price of, of uh, Kenyan sugar. Um, if they had access to these other African nations, then this problem wouldn't exist. There would be, uh, you know, uh, wealth uh, to share. So, I mean, I, this is a part of growing pains. And it's really nice to see the uh, African nations uh, building more railroads and, and connecting with each other. It's, it's going to take years, unfortunately, for East Africa to connect with West Africa, et cetera. But that's the answer. Uh, because uh, the market uh, for African goods is on the the continent. It's just a matter of getting it uh, uh, your 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 goods and products to to these uh, distant markets, and and that's going to take uh, connectivity with with uh, uh, um, a sophisticated railway system.